Okay, so sorry. Yes. So the first function is a uh, currency regulator or the bank of issue, right? So central bank is also known as bank of issue. Uh, Jayant, just tell me what the bank, uh, like central bank issues. Like uh, it is the apex institution yes. in the money market, and it yes. aims to single. Uh, he is the only one who yeah that function. What? Only he... one bank in entire India. No, no, no. He is the only like he has the only authority to issue dash. Uh, of issue issue of currency. Yes, very good. That's why it is known as bank of issue. Okay, because only he can issue currency. No other bank in the entire world they can issue uh, this uh, currency, right? So he is known as currency regulator because he regulate and bank of issue. Okay, so central bank possesses the exclusive right. Exclusive, you know that nobody else can. Only exclusively me, right? So central bank possesses the exclusive right to manufacture notes. Manufacture notes means to produce. See, currency it's of two type, right? One is paper currency and one is coins. So only paper currency is being, uh, you know, issued or being regulated by the central bank. Not about not coins. So right to manufacture notes in an economy. All the central bank across the world are involved in issuing notes to the. Economy. So, or see, no matter whether you are India, Australia, Saudi, wherever you are, the only authority who will be issuing the note that will be to the central bank only. Okay, in India it's RBI. In other country maybe the name will be different, but yeah, the central bank will be the central bank. Okay, and next, this is the most important function of central bank in an economy. Due to this, central bank is also known as bank of issue. So you can get a question like this: that what are the functions of central bank? Okay, or you can get the question like this: like why central bank is known as bank of issue? So from here onwards, you will write. It, okay, or you can get the question: why uh, like how central bank regulates currency? So this is everything you are going to write. That central bank possesses the exclusive right to manufacture notes in an economy, and all the central bank across the world. Are involved in issuing notes to the economy. So who issues notes to the economy? Central bank. And this is the most important function of central bank in an economy. Due to this, central bank are also known as bank of issue. Clear? Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, second, bank to government. Okay. So, ma'am, now what is bank to government? See, there are two banks. One is central bank, and these are commercial bank. Right. So central bank, uh, commercial bank are those bank where common people go, right? But central bank over here only government people, only government goes. Okay, so he is bank to government. Who is bank to people or public? Commercial bank, bank to public or you can say people is commercial bank where common people go. Banks to common people is commercial bank, but bank to government is central bank, right? So the in central bank we cannot go like we are the common people we cannot go but the government who is ruling the country they can go they can have the transaction and all that in the central bank clear yes ma'am okay now the second function is bank to government so one of the important function of central bank is to act as the bank of government okay the central bank accept deposit and issue funds to the government the central bank what central bank do they accept deposit and issue funds like issue funds means issuing loans okay so central bank what they do they accept the deposit if i am a government i want to deposit my money i will be going to the central bank not to the commercial bank right it is also involved in making and receiving payment of the government so making means for example i am government i want to give money to someone i want to purchase something so i'll be um, uh, giving money so making uh, or somewhere like somebody wants to transfer it to me so i'll be receiving the money right so it is involved in making and receiving payments for the government okay and central bank also offers short term loans central bank is the one who offers short term loans to the government for example government is in problem government wants to construct something so government needs money government needs loan so at that moment central bank like central bank will be uh, central bank will be giving loans to the government okay so that they can recover from the bad phase in the economy so for example why we take loans because we need money we don't have money we are in problem right now that's why we take loan so the situation is with government that when government is in bad situation so they take loans from the central bank right okay 
Next, yes, in addition yeah. to this, this is the thing. Okay, transaction and all that, giving, taking, loan and all that done. But in addition, like extra, in addition to being the bank to the government, it acts as the advisor and agent of the government. So central bank is somewhere the advisor as well. For example, I am government. I am like, I'm facing issue. Like what should I do? How should I get money? I'm facing issue. So who will advise me? Central bank will advise me. Plus, if I want to, you know, uh, give money to someone as an agent, he will be helping. Me. Okay. So it acts as an advisor and agent to the government by providing advice to the government in areas of economic policy. So where, for example, I want to make any policy for my country. So I'll be taking advice of central bank, right? Capital market, money market, loans, whatever it is, I'll be taking, like as a government, I'll be taking advice from the central bank because central bank act as advisor as well as the agent of the government clear yes ma'am so this is uh, some you can get the question how can you say that government uh, like central bank is a bank to government so because of these functions first he provide loans and all that plus he provide short term goals plus he offer uh, he accept deposits and issue and all that Plus, apart from this addition, he also works as agent and the advisor to the government. Whenever government make economic policy in the capital market, money market, loans and all that, he, uh, central bank advises the um, like the government. Okay, that's why he is known as bank to the government. Government. Yes. So these two will write. Uh, we have some more uh, things we'll do. Okay. So write. Uh, just give a heading. Functions of central bank. Functions of CB heading will be hashtag function of central bank. First function, just write it down. Then I'll scroll it down. Then the second function. Okay. 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 Then, ma'am. Ma'am, please scroll it down. Ma'am. Yes. Done. Please scroll down. Yes, ma'am. You were calling me earlier also? Yeah, I told that I Okay, tell. okay. So sorry. Actually, na, today I have some guests at my place. So. <laughs> oh, okay, no problem. I thought they were calling me.
Then uh, Okay. So now the next two functions. Okay, just a minute. Uh, function. Okay. <laughs> now uh, the central bank is also known as bankers bank. Okay. So ma'am, now what is bankers bank? Okay. So banker bank is basically, for example, uh, these are the bank. Okay, commercial bank. If they need loan. They can also face the issue, right? If they need loan, they want to deposit their money. Where they will go? They will go to central bank. That's why it is also known as banker's bank. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So it is a practice. You, when we were doing the money chapter, there we did not that commercial bank needs to deposit few amount to uh, central bank, that LRR, right? Yes, no? Yeah, ma'am. Yes. Do you remember when we were doing that table, money creation table, right? There was a column that LRR that you need to reserve 20%, 30%, 40% like this, okay? So, it is a practice of commercial bank of a country to keep a part of their cash balance in the form of deposit with the central bank. It is practice, like it is compulsory, legally compulsory. The commercial bank can draw that balance when the requirement for cash is high and pay back the same when there is less requirement of cash. So these commercial banks, they can draw out the balance whenever they need. Like for example, I'm reserving every month, I'm reserving 10, 10 rupees. But today I need money, so I'll withdraw it. And whenever I don't need money, I'll be depositing it. Right? So this is the role of commercial bank. Next, it is for this reason that the central bank is regarded as the banker's bank Central bank also plays an important role in credit creation. You know this credit creation, the money creation, right? So central, yeah, bank, central bank also plays an important role in credit creation policy of the commercial bank. That's why this central bank is known as bankers bank. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now as a supervisor, who is supervisor? Basically, for example... Uh, this is my school. I'll be regulating everyone like te our teachers coming on time, students are coming on time, they're completing their assignment. I'll be supervising it, right? So central bank act as a supervisor as well. Like the central bank supervises, regulates, controls whom? Commercial bank. They control, regulate everything, commercial bank. It also includes periodic inspection. Inspection is basically like in between. Like for example, today I want to visit a bank. This is, these are the bank, commercial bank. Today, I just randomly visited this uh, bank and there I checked that everything is uh, taking place in a good way or not way. So that is inspection. Okay. Periodic means they don't go daily. Periodic means maybe once in a year, maybe uh, twice in a year, something like that. Maybe uh, once in six months, once in three months, like that. So periodic inspection of bank. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, next. Okay, okay. Just do these two things, then okay. the credit will be doing. Okay? Okay, ma'am.
Denman. Done? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, the last one is fifth one, controller of credit. Okay. So, ma'am, now what is controller of credit? You know that uh, credit means uh, that uh, uh, loans and all that, the plus one, the credit creation, you, rem you just have to remember the credit creation. Right? So, controller of credit. You know, for example, you were getting 100 rupees as a salary. Earlier, you were keeping 20 rupees with your mom and the rest 80 rupees you were using. Right? But as what you were doing, out of this 80 rupees, you were spending all the money like on restaurants, doing parties and all that. So your mom uh, like saw that you were wasting your money. Right? So now she wants to control your expenditure. So what she will do basically, you were getting 100 rupees. She will say that, okay, now onwards you need to keep 40 rupees as a reserve with me right so that you will only get 60 rupees so that you can your expenditure will be somewhere low because this is a reserve right clear yes ma'am so this is how the central bank controls like the central bank also functions as the controller of credit in the economy it happens that Commercial bank create lot of credit. Lot of credit means lots of people deposit. That's why they create lots of credit in the economy. That increases the inflation. Right now, you must be wondering, ma'am, what is inflation? Right? So, we will understand that. Just see, right? Inflation is something. Price are being increased. Price are being increased. So, when you have lots of money. Right? So, as a shopkeeper, what I will think that you are very rich. So, I will increase the price. Right? So this happens in the economy when there is lots of money, like a, a, a prices increase, right? So the central bank controls the way credit creation by the commercial bank is done by engaging in open market operation or bringing about change in CRR to control process of credit creation by the commercial bank. Now you must be wondering, ma'am, what is this open market operation? What is the CRR? Okay, so these are basically the methods. Okay, like through CRR, through open market operation, through credit creation by commercial, all those things, central bank control the credit. So right now you just need to write the definition. Then I'll explain you everything. What is inflation? What is open market? Everything I'll explain. Okay. So this is your fifth point, right? Okay, ma'am. Yeah.
डन मैम सो यू विल क्विकली रिवाइज ऑल द फंक्शन देन आई एक्सप्लेन यू फ्यू टर्म्स टूडे ओके ओके मैम क्वानिटेटिव okay quantitative and other one is qualitative qualitative okay so what is quantitative ma'am first is quantitative so ma'am what do you understand by quantitative okay so quantitative is for example if i told you for example you went to market and you bought pen okay these you buy you bought these pens okay if i'll ask you jenab uh, how many pens you bought so you'll be saying ma'am 1 2 3 4 5 i bought five pens okay but if i'll ask you uh, what is the color okay or if i'll ask you the quality you will be saying ma'am red color or you will be saying ma'am good quality right so this when i'm asking you in terms of number right then it is quantitative because you can count it 
So quantitative means the quantity, one, two, three, four, whatever it is. But qualitative is you are telling the quality. Okay. So quantitative and qualitative. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here you will get few points. Here there are few things. So first is your bank rate. Okay. Bank rate. So first you are going to just understand the name. Bank rate. Second is repo rate. Third is your reverse repo rate. Reverse repo rate. Fourth is your market operation. Okay. And fifth is your market operation. And fifth one is your LRR. Okay. So these are your quantitative. Okay. So now we will understand, ma'am, uh, what is quantitative? Like, what is this? Okay. But before that, we will understand two things. One is your inflation. Inflation. And second one is your deflation. Okay. Clear inflation and deflation. So ma'am, what is inflation? First of all, what is inflation? So I for increase, I in for inflation and I in for increase. So increase in price. Okay. Uh, just give me one minute, huh, Jenna? Okay, ma'am. Sorry. Okay. So ma'am, what is first of all, what is inflation, right? So inflation IN is for increase and this is increase in price. Okay. So Janam, now you will be telling me that for example, mm, I am the seller. Okay. And I'm selling few things. Okay. These are people who wants to buy. Okay. So I have three products. Okay. And these are one, two, three, four, five people. So what as a seller, what I will do? I will increase the price or I will decrease the price? Increase. Why? Because the price is less and the demand is more. Yes. So people are demanding. So of course, I'll be like, oh my God, so many people want to buy my product. So I will be increasing the price, right? But opposite, for example, nobody wants to, I have only two things and nobody, only one people, I have three or four products, but only one person came to me and he's like, I want to purchase this, but the price are really high. So I'll be saying, okay, I'll decrease my price, just purchase it, right? So when nobody is demanding, then I will in decrease the prices. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what is inflation? Basically, when prices increases, that is known as inflation. And what is deflation? When prices decreases, that is known as deflation so inflation when there will be inflation like when you will increase your price 
when there will be more demand yes so basically when there is excess demand right excess demand and when yes, you will decrease your price when there is deficient demand okay when there is deficient demand so when there is excess demand that is known as inflation when there is deficit demand that is known as deflation right clear yes ma'am so yeah. excess demand so automatically when excess demand is there so automatically price will increase because lots of people are demanding so because of that inflation will be there right excess demand inflation will be there inflation means increase in price will be there deficit demand nobody is demanding so i will decrease my price so that means i'll be bringing deflation clear i hope this is clear inflation and deflation clear okay yes ma'am okay so first of all you will write inflation and you will write increase in price or you will write like this inflation slash excess demand and equals to increase in price okay, okay. and deflation deficit demand decrease in price okay and after that you will make a table like this uh, you will write a uh, money controller credit control credit control and you will write quantitative 1 2 3 4 qualitative leave the space okay Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, the heading is credit creation, right? Jenna, uh, you are done with inflation and deflation. No, ma'am. No, no? still not. Ma'am, I was asking that the heading is credit creation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can just give it a heading like this. Uh, how central bank controls credit. Okay. Or you okay, can uh, you can just give it a heading like this: controller of credit and money supply. Or you can how uh, 
central bank controls money and credit supply like this. how central bank controls money and credit supply okay how then no. yeah then where's my wait okay yeah then you will make two lines like quantitative uh, quantitative measures and qualitative measures okay quantitative first bank rate repo rate this is reverse repo rate okay this is market operation and this is lrr okay okay ma'am then ma'am okay now we will discuss everything uh, i'll just give you a hint okay so what is bank rate what is uh, you know rep repo rate and what is uh, just a hint then we'll write the definition okay so first is ma'am what is bank rate okay bank rate so see basically rate means uh, for example i am giving you loan so i'll be giving you you have to pay some interest over that right so that is the rate that for example you took 100 rupees loans from me so i'll be saying that you have to pay 10% uh you can say 10% interest on this loan so whenever you will be returning 100 rupees you have to pay 10% extra right so that is a rate okay so first is bank rate so usually when commercial bank takes loans from central bank right so this is the rate at which com central bank gives loans to commercial bank okay clear Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what is repo rate? Uh, this is uh, this is for long period of time. Okay, for longer period of goals. But repo rate, this is basically the short term goals. For example, I need loan. Ah, uh, for example, I am not well. I need urgent money, right? So that is basically short term goal, right? So that is repo rate. When come central bank gives loans to commercial bank, this is the rate at which central bank gives loans to commercial bank for short period of time. Okay. And reverse separate reverse means opposite. So over here, what happens? See, every time central bank is giving loans to commercial bank, but in reverse separate, commercial bank gives loans to central bank. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now market operation. Now in market, what happens? Either you will sell something, or you will buy something, right? So in market, what happens? Central bank either sell its security or purchase its security. So this happens. And LRR, you already know, this is a legally compulsory amount which banks need to keep with them, like we keep with the central bank. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh shit. now first of all i'll tell you how you are going to make notes okay this is your notebook okay so from here onwards you will give a hashtag first we will do quantitative measure so quantitative measure you will be giving heading okay and then first quantitative measure is your bank rate okay you will write the definition okay we are going to write definition for everything you have bank rate repo rate reverse repo rate first we will write definition then we will write what happens in inflation what happens in deflation So first you will write first bank rate. After writing definition, you will leave three lines. Uh, for uh, this, I think three lines are enough. Uh, okay, just leave uh, eight lines. Okay. After writing the definition, leave eight lines. Okay, and after that, put second heading. The again you will write the definition. Then again leave eight lines because over there we will be writing inflation and deflation. Okay, so first we will write only definition. So after every definition, you will leave eight lines. Is it fine? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So first, uh, you can start. First, you will write quantitative measures. Just write hashtag 
quantitative measure and the first one which is your bank rate and slash discount rate just write the heading then i'll explain you what you are going to write Then, ma'am. Okay. Now, what is bank rate or discount rate? Okay. So, ma'am, it is the minimum rate at which central bank of a country gives credit. Credit means loans. Okay. So, you can write credit hashtag sorry ha uh, slash loans. Okay. To the commercial bank to meet their long term needs. Long term, for example, I want to construct building. So that is a long term goal. Okay. So it is a minimum rate at which central bank of a country gives credit or loans to the commercial bank. Why? To meet their long term goals. So when the loan is being given for long term loans, is it known as bank rate? But when loan is given for short term goals, it is known as repo rate. Clear? The only difference is that. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So write it down first. Then, ma'am. Okay. Now, the second is you leave eight lines. Okay. Then, second is repo rate. Okay. So, you will write uh, the same definition, but just only you will change for short term goals to meet their short term goals. Okay, ma'am. Yeah? Yes. Done, ma'am. Okay. Next is reverse repo rate. Okay. So when commercial bank have surplus fund, they can deposit the same with the central bank and earn interest. Okay. So uh, the rate of interest paid by the central bank on such deposit is known as reverse repo rate. So basically what happened, for example, I'm commercial bank. Okay, I have lot of money with me, surplus fund. So what I will do, I will deposit that money with the central bank, right? So when I will deposit it, of course, central bank will be giving me the uh, uh, this 
uh, okay. okay so central bank what central bank will be doing central bank will be giving me the interest right for example when you deposit the money of course central bank you know they just give you the money like the interest right so this is what like reverse repo rate when the commercial bank have surplus fund they can deposit the same with the central bank and they earn interest over it okay so when they pay interest so i'll just explain you with this okay just a minute uh, no need to write it we'll write in the next class just understand this for example i am the central bank okay let's just take an example this is a commercial bank okay you deposited your money for example 100 rupees so you have an idea janab that you get uh, interest over it that after 6 month you maybe you will be getting 20 rupees as a interest over it there is a interest like if you are keeping your money with bank they will be paying you the interest okay so what happens with central bank when central bank you know they have lots of money with them so what they do they keep it as a reserve with central bank okay this commercial bank so commercial bank in return pays right so that is known as this reverse repo rate reverse means earlier commercial bank were paying interest to central bank but here central bank is paying interest to commercial bank so that's why it is known as reverse repo rate why reverse because it is opposite now clear yeah? yes ma'am okay so don't worry we'll just cover in the next class i think ma'am uh, the mission is uh, repo rate rules okay repo rate just a It's the same only. I just want to check. Yeah, it's the same thing, but just you need to change. Short term, yeah. Short. Right? Yeah, they have just written over here when the commercial bank are in need of funds. See, as a commercial bank, I need funds. I need loan for short period of time. So they borrow it from central bank, right? And the interest they pay yeah. is known as repo rate. So basically, when you are taking money for short period of time, that is your repo rate. Commercial bank, but when you are taking loans for longer period of time and then you are paying.